today we're doing this dish that we have on the menu. It's a campachi tiradito. Campachi uh, tiradito has been with sushi samba for a while now. Um, and the tiradito is really uh, something that is very Peruvian. It's very Nikkei. It represents a lot of sushi samba because there is the mix of the Peruvian and the Japanese, okay? So pretty much it is a sashimi. Um, it's a sashimi cut, but a little bit different. So what we'll do here, we'll just marinate the slices in a bit of uh, yuzu. Okay. Uh, my family was always in the, um, in the industry, in the hospitality industry, so kind of there was always some interest since I was a kid. I spent a lot of time in, in the farms and, and in my family's business. So it ended up to be kind of natural when I went to the culinary school at the age of 14 was very natural. I already knew that it would be kind of the future, although I, had, I thought of many different things, but I thought that maybe this would be something that I could apply different things and it came out to be what I really like to do in terms of putting things together. Okay, so the idea now is to marinate it with a bit of our yuzu dressing. We serve it as well with yuzu and a gold gel, so it's pretty much edible gold with the yuzu juice as an extra dressing on the plate. Obviously there was a passion there, but I think when you live around those elements, you kind of become more interested about it. So obviously my family helped out the fact that it's now obviously my career, but I think there was also some interest of myself to go to the kitchen and cook. We garnish with um, garlic chips. Sushi some obviously, it is a challenge. When I came here, I was obviously younger than I am now. Three or four years ago made a difference in my career to come to a challenge like this because it's not a normal restaurant. This operation almost that runs like a hotel. It's a big challenge. It, it is a monster of a restaurant, so that's pretty much the reason why. It's something that I'm directed is a food that I have knowledge about. Although it was more the challenge than the food and the style of cuisine that made me come here. This is a red amaranth and chives. Red amaranth is, um, is a very exotic uh, plant from uh, Thailand. It's kind of healthy, it has uh, some oils and some minerals. I have many ambitions on a personal level. Not a, on a personal level, level, obviously, my ambition is to have my own restaurant and then from there I will work out to make something out of it. Uh, this is um, yuzu caviar. It's pretty much just verification. So um, it's a reaction between a calcic and a... And, um, so it's pretty much a, a, um, a reaction between uh, calcium uh, that makes kind of a shell and it stays liquid inside. It's a, a modern technique that it's utilized and this one has the flavor of the gel so pretty much it's something to again make it uh, look more modern and fancy. What we have here is a campaccio tiradito served with um, yuzo, garlic and chives. We add as well a little bit of edible gold just to make it a bit more fancy. That's it.